Okay. So, we're down one companion. Veronica decided that rather than staying at this lovely, well-appointed house with all the food she can eat, she would rather, you know, dig in the dirt at the 188. That's fine. That's her decision. I don't care. I'm not mad at all. Definitely not mad. But that means we have a house all to itself. We don't need to worry about some Brotherhood scribe getting in there and stealing all the good energy weapons. We're fine. We just get on the road, head to Vegas, kill Benny, and drink ourselves into a stupor. That sounds like a lovely plan, doesn't it, Eddie? And you know, while we're on the way, Boone. Boone? Boone! Boone, I don't think we've actually learned much about you, have we? I mean, we've been traveling with you for a while, yeah, but uh, we don't actually know much about you besides that you used to work with Manny, you used to be in, I think it was First Recon, wasn't it? Yeah, f First Recon. And then something happened. And now you no longer work for the NCR, now you no longer work for First Recon, so, uh, you want to tell me about that? If you want. It's not really my thing. What do you want to know? Well, you said you were First Recon, right? What, what was that about? First NCR Recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. You know, I vaguely recall being told that there's an arms dealer in Camp McCarran. I was thinking about stopping by. You want to tell me about that? It was an airport before the war. Command liked it because it was already fortified, and it let them keep an eye on the strip. They've got an old monorail that still runs between them, used mostly for supplies and deployment. But if you get leave, you're allowed to go gamble. It was General Oliver's post, but I heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately. Guessing Colonel Shu is running it. Ooh, a monorail, you say? Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. I, I think I know what we're gonna do is like, that'd be the ultimate way to sneak into the strip is just, you know, oh no, we're, we're not a courier. We're not here to kill Benny. No, we're just, you know, a gambler out on leave. <laughs> so what do you think of General Oliver then? Didn't know him. He's a signature on my discharge papers. Wasn't real popular though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. <laughs> and Colonel Shu? Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. Well, the good news is we're probably going to stop by there, so hey... We might get a chance to say hi. How's it going? You, you know, do you remember my good friend, my good friend Boone here? So is that beret from the from the unit then? Yeah, you can tell by the patch, bear skull with crossed rifles behind it, slogan underneath. All right, what what's the slogan? The last thing you never see. <laughs> Pretty accurate. I like that. And so are we. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right. So, changing the subject abruptly, are you an outlaw now? I mean, you did kind of kill someone in the last town we went to. Thanks for that. I'm still trying to clean the blood out of, out of my suit. No. People die out there. Often enough that uh. no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. You most definitely were not. It happened on your shift, in front of your dinosaur, in your line of fire, while you were on work. Okay, whatever. So we're heading into Vegas. Uh, Manny knew the cons, and the cons knew Benny. Do you, did you know Benny? Does, it know, does that mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. You don't say a lot, do you? Kind of taciturn. Speaking of Manny, how do you feel about him? He was a good spotter. That's... that's it? I mean, I mean, you spend time with him, you joined, joined the army because of him, weren't you friends? Yeah, we were. But not anymore. No. Okay then. You... 
really don't say a lot, do you, Boone? And you know what? That's fine. That's your business. I can appreciate an employee who, do, who knows how to keep his silence. But, stick a pin in that conversation. We're very much returning to that. I am not happy with that answer you give me. And the only reason I'm letting you rest right now is because I just noticed... There's a satellite dish up there. And where there's a satellite dish, there's a broadcasting center. And where there's a broadcasting center, there's useful salvage. There's loot. There's stuff we can sell. There's stuff, in short, that will help us make money. And maybe there's not a lot, but, you know, hey, let, let's poke in anyway. We might as well see what's in there. It'll take us all of, what, like half an hour? We got time. It's, uh, what, like, you know, it, it, it's bar barely, barely even nine. You've discovered Neil's shack. Okay. That's interesting. Who's Neil, I wonder? Oh, oh, crap, crap. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. Okay. That was not what I expected when I saw a super mutant charging at me. Yeah, you're a uh, <laughs> pretty friendly for a mutant. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? Oh, okay, but you'll have to forgive me. You see, Every mutant I've met so far, with the exception of one, has led with, I'm going to hollow out your ribcage and use it to serve my nachos in. It's like, sorry for that, uh, you know, impression that every single other mutant in the wasteland has given me. Yeah, no offense intended. And none taken, since you apologized. What exactly is it makes this a dangerous place, pray tell? You must have heard a radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Okay. Honestly, I hadn't even listened to to the radio around here. Uh, suddenly, our half-hour expedition is turning into a on second thought, let's not go to Utobotha today. It does sound like a dangerous place. What sort of road should I expect? The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound, heavily guarded by her nightkin. Huh. Yeah. That sounds like a place that is possibly profitable, but probably really not worth the trouble. <laughs> and are the nightkin like you? No, I've, I've seen nightkin before back at Repcon. The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You do well to avoid the mountain at night. Okay, good to know. How did Tabitha end up in control? For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second-generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second-gen. Not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second-gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. Okay, he smashed the radio, but she's still broadcasting, so he didn't do a very good job, I guess. 
<laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raoul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Okay. And you're here instead of Jacobstown. Why? Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. I suppose it's as good a reason as any. So, what exactly is Jacobstown? You, you've mentioned it twice now, I think. The opposite of Black Mountain. A stable community of mutants, mostly. Led by a mentally stable leader. Humans are welcome there, so long as they behave themselves. Look northwest of Red Rock Canyon if you want to find it. Yeah, that's if I want to find it. And that's that's a that's a big if. I mean, an, a stable community of mutants. That actually is genuinely interesting. It's like, I might see it if only for the tourism value. Okay, thanks for the warning. I think I can take care of myself. Yes, I hear that sometimes. And then I never see the people who said it again. Okay. It's on the radio, he said. Well, let's take a, take a listen to that real quick. Okay, so it's it, it's basically Mojave, Mojave Music Radio, I think. Just, uh... I mean, I could be wrong. Let's, let's take a listen a bit further. Do you remember the good old days where the Master ruled over us all? When his gentle, compelling, and yet oddly insistent voice crawled through your mind and told you exactly what to do? Do you miss a time when you didn't have to think for yourself and enjoyed lazy days of following the bellowed commands of others? Those days can be yours again. For best friend Tabitha, the esteemed leader of the state of Utobasa, is here to tell you what to do! That's right! I, Tabitha, will take on the burden of your obedience! Acceptance into Utobatha pending best friend Tabitha's approval. Best friend Tabitha reserves the right to turn down applicants for any reason, including whimsy or boredom. Acceptance into Utobatha open to mutants only. Former human servants of the Master conditionally accepted for purposes of centaur feeding duties. Dismemberment may occur. Utobatha, come! Take a load off your mind! Okay, for the purposes of centaur feeding. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking this really isn't worth it. It's like if it were just the loot, I'd say, you know will let them keep it. It's not worth going up against mutants and Nightkin and whatever else is up there. Uh, but at the same time, they did... Neil did mention a ghoul. It's like, if it were up to me, I, I wouldn't want to leave somebody hanging in there. So, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna at least poke in there. Go as far as the first barricade, see what we find, and then if resistance is too much, then we'll say, well, we tried, you know, we'll, we can come back sometime later and hope that they haven't fed Raul to the centaurs. Yeah, this is sounding like a bad plan. Am I a bad person? Okay, there we go. What do we have? We have, looks like mostly regular mutants. You got one guy with a super sledge. And one guy with I can't really tell what they have. Did we bring the Myrtleizer? I don't think we did. No, I think that's actually back inside the van. We can try the hunting rifle, but I can almost guarantee this isn't going to work. Because I am just not very good with hunting rifles. We'll just try to shoot him in the leg. Oh. <laughs> right. It, it turns out guns work better when you have ammo for them. And I've... I left all the 5mm ammo inside the house. Yeah, this is, uh... 
Not my finest moment. Okay, what what else? Tesla rifle. Tesla rifle will work. Okay. Let's try to get a nice little sneak attack on that guy right there. Okay, that didn't work. But apparently it didn't matter. Because these two mutants are dumber than most. Okay, what are you actually using? Okay, we got two melee guys. That's good. So really, I think we're good to just open up in there. Yeah, I, I see two guys with super sledges and, and then die. one guy. There we go. Yep, headshot. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Run, 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 run. That's the wrong weapon, that's the wrong weapon. And then headshot. Come on, go down, go down. Thank you very much. Okay, there's the guy. <laughs> shot, shot the super sledge out of his hand. Oh, they actually had a nightkin with them. Delightful. Glad we got him too. Oh boy, this is... Probably not a good idea. But you know what? We're alive. We didn't use too much ammo. Okay, Tabitha, I'm gonna stop you there. Shut up. What do you think, guys? Keep going? Yeah, I'm thinking keep going. Which is probably dumb. What's that up there? You die now! Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh! Nice shot, Boone. I just saw a super sledge fly past me. <laughs> yeah, this oh is actually not as big of a problem as I thought it would be. It's like, you distract them, you shoot the weapon out of their hands, and I just I just melt them. Yeah, <laughs> this is working. Yeah, actually, what is that? Is that body parts? Uh, guys, is this really the best thing? It's like... We don't need to be here. We don't need to fight this fight. We could just, you know, say, hang whoever this is. We're just going to go. And do we have anything else over here? He said there was a blockade, right? Oh. And falling rocks, apparently. That's not good. My aim is shaking a lot more than I thought, than it, than it really should. Did I get crippled at all? Huh. No. Oh. <laughs> Talk about missing the forest for the trees. Hello, NCR Trooper Black. Oh. Yep, falling rocks is right. Uh, Boone, you could have moved. I moved. Why didn't you? <laughs> okay, Black Mountain Investigation Note. What's that say? It was a fool's errand to send us into these mountains. The road seemed deserted at night, just like our scouts said. But halfway up, we found ourselves attacked from random directions by, by enemies we couldn't see. In the chaos that followed, the squad got split up, and now I don't know where my men are. Hopefully, some of them made it. Yeah, bad bad news there, man. Okay, yeah, they have, uh... They've put traps over here. We'll just quickly get rid of those. Oh, almost stepped into that one. Oh. Oh, we... oh, that's a big rock. That's a big rock. Move! Okay. <laughs> Falling rocks is right. And how is it fair that that didn't trigger the bear trap? I, I call shenanigans. Okay, Eddie. Take him out. Take who out? Oh. Mine. That guy? Uh, I, I guess you're the sniper. You you sniped your heart's content. It's like I'm I'm, a, I'm gonna go waste my ammo on the, on that guy. At least not until he's close enough for vats. Yeah, just like that. Because it, when he's in vats rage, he just dies. Kind of strange to see all these guys with nothing but sledgehammers. It's like you'd think they'd have. I don't know, something else. Okay, one more shot to do it. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Oh, I just realized... 
I, my, my, yep, there we go. I was gonna say my pit boy is ticking, tick, tick, ticking away. So we'll quickly collect these sledgehammers. And then, what do we have for radiation? We have radix, we should. And we don't have anything else, I don't think. No, no we don't. Okay, that kind of begs the question though. Why is this place irradiated? It's like, where is radiation coming from? Is there a toxic waste dump? Is there like a, a facility here or just maybe? There might be a giant crater. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> not go near that. That is just trouble waiting to happen. Kind of weird that you don't see any of the mutants around here. It's like you you think there'd be a mutant right there. Hello, who are you? Okay, 360 hit points, melee hostile. Tell you what, I feel pretty good in just having some fun with you. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, but realistically speaking, the edge of a crater is probably the the worst place imaginable to have fun with missiles. Okay, let's get on top of this, see what, see what we can snipe off. I hear a radio. Let's try to find that out and, you know, shoot it. There we go. Oh, that's actually kind of kind of cool. It's like nice little shelter inside this fallen dome. I like that. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's turn that radio off real quick. Hey, you interrupted my podcast, Dum Dum Dum. So there's better be a conclusion. What is it? Oh, um, <laughs> hi. Uh, we're, we're just gonna... no. Don't say hi. Okay, that could have been bad. Yeah, that could have been really bad. It's like, can you imagine if we just said, hey, how's it, go how's it going? Yeah. Oh, 380 caps. Hello, hello. Tell me there's one in this one too. Please, please, let's be another 400 caps in here. I suppose we'll just have to make do with only 300 caps for free. Yeah, this was a worthwhile trip. Oh, yes, yes, it was. Okay. Keep in mind, there's going to be Nightkin up here, Neil said. So we're looking for invisible people right there. Invisible people right, right there. <laughs> Critical strike. Suck on that. Plenty of two-handed weapons to fix up. And sell off with those super legends. Oh, there's another one. Oh, missed, missed. But that's alright, because we have that. Yeah, this is actually proving decently doable. And we're getting plenty of free ammo out of it, so hey, why not? <laughs> oh. oh. Boon, boon, boon. Don't run in there, don't run in there. There's a guy in there with a missile launcher. We don't want to fight that guy. And also a guy with a, with, with a minigun. Okay, it's time for some drugs. Yes, it's time for all the drugs in the world. Steady, there we go. And we can get a headshot for you. Love. I was gonna say lovely, but then but then we missed. Oh boy, was that? Yeah, that'd be the guy with the missile launcher. Okay, we are really hoping, yes, there we go. I was gonna say, we're really hoping for a crit there. Because if we don't get it there, we are going to be in a world of hurt. But that's all right, because we have a level up now, and it's level 22, so what do we get for level 22? We have 15 skill points to play with. What do we need to push up? Well, survival is a perennial favorite, but medicine seems like it'd be more useful. I wind up using a lot more stim packs than I do food to heal myself, so we'll use that, I think. Push that up to 50, leaves us three points to play with. Is there anything else I can dump into that'll give me a nice even number? No, no there isn't. So we'll shove that up at the very least. Okay, 
And for our perk, one opened up one opens up at level 22. Okay, I can see three potential perks. Them's good eatings. Any living creature you kill has a 50% chance to have the potent healing items thin red paste or blood sausage when looted. Or peer pressure. You feel anxious when you can't meet the expectations of those who follow you. With this perk, your overall combat speed increased by the total number of followers, which is both interesting and I'm not sure what it does, if I'm being honest. I mean, what, it, what what actually is overall combat speed? Nuka Chemist is also interesting. You know, special Nuka Colas. I love myself a Nuka Cola. But I think we're going to have to go for Laser Commander. From the Homebo Laser Pistol to the Mighty Gatling Laser, you do plus 15% damage and have a 10% chance to critically hit with any laser weapon. Yes, that is a wonderful perk. We're taking that. Now, what has that done to our Gatling Laser? With the optimized packs, we're up to 486 DPS with that thing. Oh, 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 oh that's crazy. I love it. Huh. And this guy's dropped his missile launcher somewhere. Let's see if we can't find that. Ah, here it is. Annabelle. Hello. What exactly do you do, I wonder? Besides, holy crap, 386 damage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking thing. I don't even know how to use this, and I want to use it. That's probably a pretty bad personal failing, but holy crap, look at this. Oops. There are some red compass marks over there. That's a bad thing. But hey, I have a missile launcher, you see. And so this might be as not might not be as terrible as I think. Okay, we're we have to try this out. You have fun with that? <laughs> oh yes, this Eat is this. a lovely little toy. Which I will use exactly once and then never again. Because missiles are slow as balls, and also I don't know how to use them. Oh, oh boy, they figured it out. They figured it out. They have figured it out. But that's alright, because missiles... Yeah, you... Oh, hey, 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 hey. You, you leave Eddie alone. None of that now. Um... Sorry, Eddie. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> like, I I'm sorry, Eddie. I can't help myself. I have a new toy. And it goes boom. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a... This... What did you just shoot? Oh. Scared the crap out of me. Okay, okay. Yes, we have a new toy. Yep, I don't even... I, I don't care that it's horribly inefficient and heavy and wasteful. Because it's shiny and goes boom. You must think me a horrible idiot right now. And I'll tell you the truth, I don't even care. <laughs> oh yes, this is a wonderful day. Alright, so which building are we heading into... I'm betting that one with the radio towers is, I think, U Utopitha. I think, I think it's Tabitha. So we could go in this one. Yeah, let, let's check. Let's, oh, prison building. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. All right. What all do we have in here? Requires key. Very hard. Or an unlocked one. Okay. Well, let's just pop this open real quick, because why not? Okay, we can just disengage the lock that way. Fantastic. Hello? Raul, I presume? Took you long enough, so can I go now? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay by me. Well, what do you, what do you mean, took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, 
Can I go now? Yeah, I guess. Enjoy your freedom, whatever. Alrighty then. I'll just head out, alone, by myself, into the dangerous waste. Well, if, if you didn't want to go, why do you ask? It's like, if you don't want to go by yourself, don't say, I'd like to go by, by myself. It's like, do you want to tag along with me then? Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh crap. Okay, Raul, I I need I need I need some situation reports right now. What can I do for you, boss? How how'd you end up here? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke down old man. Okay, and how how did Tabitha find you though? Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast, just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around permanently. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about Tabitha? I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll address the rest of these later on, but for now, we have apparently an angry super mutant who's coming to kill us. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Anything you say, boss. Okay, guys. Get ready. Guns out. Let's get ready for whatever's out here. Yep, she's very much here. She's very much here. Hello. What are you wearing? Okay, guys, she she's a mutant wearing heart sunglasses. That's um that's a new one. But she's also a mutant wearing heart sunglasses who's trying to kill us. So, oh boy, there we go, there we go, ooh, and there's, oh hi, oh hi, 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 how are you doing, I did not see you there, I don't like you there, could you please stop, thank you, okay, we're running now, yeah, that's a lot of Nikin, that is a lot of Nikin, guys, guys, Raul, kill them, okay, that, uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That that's wonderful and unexpected. Okay, where did her body land? That'll work. That's what we wanted. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around in the dirt to keep hidden. <laughs> you know what? I like you. <laughs> it's like. We just had an interview with Boo, and we're going to have to do that with you, too, because you are entertaining as all get out. Okay, let, let's loot everything dry in here, all right? Let's see. Tabitha's equipment room? Storage building. Excellent. Ooh, hello. What's this? Treasure hunt? To whom it may concern. You. We got some pretty good stuff from the last raid, and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. That's logical, I suppose. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. Stuff I hid, one missile launcher, three missiles, three rix C4, five frag grenades, one super sim pack, various ammo, signed your benevolent supreme overlord, Tabitha. Okay, well, let's get scavenging, I guess. A star bottle cap, don't mind if I do. See, now I'm kind of regretting killing her, because it's like... She's a mutant, yes, and she's a mutant who tried to kill us, yes, and who held Raoul captive for who knows how long. But she's a mutant who organized a scavenger hunt, including a sneak bobblehead. <laughs> like, how could you not like her? A, a super sim pack under a pot. Ooh, and a liberator rifle. Don't mind if I do. I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Liberator rifle, what's that look like in its spare time? 56 damage by 103 DPS. Hmm. Decent iron sights. 
single shot. Hmm, not the best, but also far from the worst. An EMP generator implant. We'll have to take that back to Doc Mitchell, see what he, see what he says about that. Ooh, hello, Nuka-Cola victory. Don't mind if I do. There's the missile launcher. One of the C4. Two of the C4. I'll admit I'm liking her slightly less now because she is apparently a mutant who is better at scavenger hunts than I am. Which is not the best feeling. It's like, yeah, we shot her in the head, but it's like, it's like, now that I know that she has the stuff here, I kind of want to find it. Okay, once more, pouring through everything. Yeah, there, there's the frag grenades. Oh, there's the last C4. It was on top of the vending machine. I was just kind of hopping around trying to get, trying to see on top of things, and there it was. Of course, that just leaves the three missiles she talked about. Three missiles and three of the frag grenades. But we found most of everything else, I think. It's like, they're missiles. How hard can they be to find? Ah! There's at least one of them beneath the traffic cone. Okay. We're fe feeling slightly better about itself, about myself now. Ah! There they are. One is here behind the gnome. And the other one is here inside a cinder block. <laughs> that just leaves the three frag grenades. But frankly, I don't think we need to worry about that. What we do need to worry about is that it got freaking dark while we were playing the scavenger hunt. And, Raul, I should just like to clarify that, uh, just because <laughs> your first impression of me was a guy who released you, got into a fight with Supermutants, and then spent <laughs> the rest of the day <laughs> playing a Super Mutants scavenger hunt which he failed at that should not be <laughs> you shouldn't worry about that. that that's not an issue don't worry about that i swear it doesn't reflect on me <laughs> all right let's poke our head through here and then see about finding a bed let's see we have a terminal in here what's that say real quick Okay, yeah, it looks like this is mostly just pre-war records. People who were here when the bombs dropped. Yeah, the, the mountain shielded us from the worst of the blast, but there's too much radiation. And then he died on the on the keyboard. Okay. Yeah, that's, um... Kind of. And by, by kind of, I mean really freaking depressing. Does this place have... No, it does not have what I was hoping for, which is... A bed. All right, there we go. Hopefully that's this station shut down. Or at least this station freed up so that somebody else can broadcast on it. Okay. We're going to find a bed. Oh. Has that been your bed? For how long? O okay, don't worry, Raul. We have a van. Which has... Better than cardboard. Holy crap. It's like, you slept on this? And you're... Okay, yeah, this, uh... Aren't you just glad we got you out of here? And now I have to look forward to this for the night. Wonderful. Okay. Bright new day. Sun is shining. And we have... A bunch of corpses to worry about. To loot. And we have a whole bunch of crap to sell. I think it's time we get on the road. Next stop, I think, is Camp McCarran. Boone, you were just telling us about that. So, yeah. <laughs> Next stop, the NCR. And hopefully, all of the NCR's lovely mercenary work for us. <laughs> Let's see, if this map is right, we should be able to just follow this road along, and the third right will take us right there. Yeah, that should be fairly simple. It's like, even I can't get lost on that. I mean... Take him out. What? Oh, it's, it's you again. Don't you dare throw that spear at me. That's right, down you go, sit down. <laughs> Raul? 
Raul? Raul? Oh, there you are. Look, could you stop cowering, please? You're making the whole group look look bad. Keeping quiet. Unless my creaky knees give us away. You know, I don't think the creaky knees will give us away so much as your commentary about them. With that said, duly noted. I'll try to avoid sneaking while you're around. See, what we have right here is what we in the business call a golden opportunity for a lovely charged rocket launcher shot. Which I suppose we don't really need to do with this because we now have Annabelle to do that for us. And that's one of them dead. Or two of them dead, even. <laughs> Good job, us. Yes, that's right. Run at me. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you dare use that grenade. You can have that blow up in your hand right away. <laughs> oh, you didn't like that, did ya? No, no, you didn't. <laughs> well, it's too bad for you. Yeah. Ow. Okay, Raul, I was going to make some kind of quip about how you haven't met the Legion yet. Well, now you have. Please, <laughs> ignore me getting knocked off my feet. I promise I'm not normally that clumsy. Oh. Where is that coming from? Coming from this way, I think. He says, running towards the gunfire. It's like, call me crazy, but that seems like a dumb idea. So yeah, what you do when you hear the gunfire is you let whatever's shooting exhaust itself, and then you loot the bodies. In this case, looks like the NCR were fighting... Something else, not quite sure which. Here's Camp McCarran, so we can quickly... Oh! Who the hell are these? Well, they're fighting the NCR, so... I was gonna say, so we can help out, but... Uh, turns out that's uh, not needed. Well done, sir. You've defended your country. At the cost of your... Friend, do you mind if I help myself? You see, we're a trading we're a trading caravan, and we're always looking for fresh supplies to sell to the NCR. Yeah, so hey, good job! You are helping an NCR civilian to slowly grow rich. I like the way this plan works.